So for my YouTubers, this is a uh, Navian NFC 250 210. It does 180,000 BTU on the heating side. Heating side is this manifold here. Boiler supply, boiler return. Then it has the, it's a combination boiler, so it does hot water. Domestic hot water out, cold water in. Plumb that in there. Boom, boom, boom. This was a mess. It was oil, all the piping. The piping is now up in the ceiling. It was, I got two shutoffs there. The piping, the boiler was there. Indirect was here. The piping was all taken up all the space. So I have to convert, I made my hole there for for the gas line. That's the supply and returns. My manifold's gonna be inch and a half into two inch. Um, just wanna give you a quick tip on cutting holes in cinder block or uh, cement or um, stone stone is the most difficult one for me at least but this is a two inch uh central thorium <clears throat> pipe in no flu set vent systems two inch if you go more than about 65 feet including restrictions like elbows and 45s you're gonna need three inch this only allows you to go up to about 65 feet left it's somewhere around there i gotta check the manual but i know i'm less way less than that i'm about 15 feet right out there so i'm more two, two inches is more than enough well actually two inches is right on on spec so check that out i'm going to show you the outside so you can see what i'm talking about as far as using this is basically the point of my video today Usually I use the, I've been using the, um, I've been using the hammer drill. But once I saw the stone out here, <sighs> see the stone? There was about six inches of stone. So I was never gonna get through that with with uh, through that with just the, the hammer drill. So I went out and I rented the diamond cutter for cement. It went through the stone really nicely. funny because it actually gave me a little more trouble on the um, cinder block but I think it's because one of the one of the blades on the cement cutter broke off and the person who rented it to me told me that the hose part of it for the water didn't work so I had to keep cooling it off uh, manually with some water there in a bucket let me show you the diamond cutter blade for two inch and this is the blade see how that broke off so it gave me so they're probably gonna charge me for that there's also companies that they've been contacting me that's the tool They've been contacting me to to charge me for what diamond core drill for uh, drilling drilling holes for me. I should have called them, but I was just like, let me do it myself. I gotta double check their prices. I'll probably just pay them to do it next time. But if you do your own work and your own holes for your exhaust on the side side walls, sometimes then. Um, 
then uh yeah give that a shot if you're using the hammer drill it took me drill time about three hours it was not easy but hammer drill takes a lot longer and the biggest perk about this the drill this drill is that when it hits something it, it spins a little bit but not like the hammer drill the hammer drill like literally break your wrist especially if you're on a ladder I'm just gonna throw you off the ladder this one gives you minimal uh, recoil what, what it's called not recoil but it, it gives you minimal uh, uh, torque on your wrist if it does get stuck or something so just something to think about but we I'm gonna, I gotta clean that up, I gotta patch this up, but the boiler itself is looking good, at least I think, my well, YouTube is harsh on everyone, but uh, it's, it's a lot better, the customer's happy, it's a lot better than before, sorry about the camera and stuff, I'm not, I do this like whenever I can, I'm not big on the filming.